you come to Cambodia and, and Vietnam going down the Mekong River and you learn a lot here. The biggest realization I had was the only exotic thing here is me. This place has been around for 2,000 years. Everything is perfectly normal. But this, for me, is the travel experience. Questioning also your normal by going to a place that has a different kind of normal. My name is Christoph Niemann. I'm an illustrator. And over the years, I always drew when I traveled. One of the most important things for me when I do these trips is not to have any preconceived notions. Smile. You come there, and of course, I feel the creative pressure to create a story and to wear the good images. But you have to live a little bit, and you have to allow for something to happen and kind of go back and forth between your mind and the place. When I make a drawing, what I do is utterly subjective. I look at a landscape that consists of a million different elements, and I pick some out and make them bigger, some through conscious decisions, some through just unconscious, oh, there's this tree, I happen to have red ink, so now the tree is, uh, is, is, is red. You filter the world through the limitations of ink on paper. Another aspect that's very important for me when I create an image is a certain kind of contrast. And drawing is great because you can amplify contrasts. We go to Angkor Wat in the morning for sunrise, which is an incredible moment. But even though it's an incredible moment, I've seen pictures of that before. So you paired it against the photos that you've seen, but real life has a lot of people with cell phones, uh, scrambling for the right position to get the right moment of the sun reflecting in the, in, in the water lily pond. I think you can take this stock photo postcard moment that you have stored somewhere and check that against the reality. My goal for a reader to look at that and say, yeah, that's, that's my travel experience. It's not this perfect uh, 4K, everything's amazing, uh, every detail is photoshopped out, but it's like the moment where something is a little off, I think it becomes interesting. Where I see what I do uh, is really being like a scientific amateur and almost you know, kind of turning the lens on myself and how I experience this amazing world. I almost feel like I'm the reader who then gets to stand in the middle of the story and we just see what happens. Mm -hmm.